Good morning, South. I'm TJ. And I'm Jalen. And, and this, this is, is South Live. Live. Today is Friday, April 20th, 2018. Don't miss out on Food Truck Friday today from 5 to 7 p.m. in front of the school. Come out and support South. The 7th grade softball team won 8 to 3. Despite an injury, the team worked together to beat Canal Winchester. The girls remain undefeated. Come support them tonight at home. Attention all students, today is the last day to submit application, your application to be part of next year's South Live News Crew. Get those applications in today by scanning the QR code in the posters in the hallway or following the link we sent to all 6th and 7th graders. We've received many great applications and we'll be notifying many of you about interviewing with us soon. Keep your eyes peeled on your students' email box for more info. Good luck to Hannah Reek, Ryan Cumbo, Cassidy Bogart, Sarah Ukbana, Sammy Molino, Shelby Tokash, and Mai Rubin at tomorrow's National History Day state competition at Ohio Wesleyan University. And here's Mrs. Murdoch. Good Friday morning, Middle School South. Morning. I am so excited to be joined with my special guest, Mr. Parker. I do have one shout out after we get done today. Mr. Brandon Short, come, down, come on down and get that. Today, this morning, seventh graders will finish their testing in math. Yay, we're done with seventh grade, so please make sure we're being quiet in the hallways once again. I know that testing sometimes drags on, so we're going to have one quick words of wisdom about keeping resolutions. Most of us have a goal or a dream we would like to achieve. To reach that goal or dream, we often make resolutions or promises to ourselves. We may resolve to exercise more, eat better, study harder, or break a bad habit, but resolutions can be hard to keep. This is especially true in May. Listen to these words from ancient Chinese teacher Confucius. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. So if you resolve to make better grades or finish the school year strong, put your whole heart into it. If you make a promise to be a better friend or big sister, put some love into it. If you decide to get in shape, love yourself enough to do it. Find ways to stay inspired, like asking someone you love to be your personal coach or promising yourself a special gift if you reach your goals. Put some heart into it and you'll see better results if you do. We haven't done Corny Joke Friday for a while, so I invited Mr. Parker in. Mr. Parker, as an art teacher, let's just start with that. Why should you never write with a dull pencil? There's no point. But um, because it's pointless. Ah. Nice job. <laughs> Have a great Friday, South. Bye, guys.